Welcome back, my name is Star Piku. The game is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Last time we collected all the Pyrex treasure and uh, got a cool compass for it. <clears throat> uh, next up, next up, what am I doing next? Well, I got all these ports I can fast travel to now. Hmm. Where do I go next? Corel, Pleasant Canyon, Kunganga. Wait, why are you still in Tal Zero? I thought that the Pirate Treasures was all the. In oh boy. Hmm. Well, for the moment, let's go swing by Kunganga. I think. Uh, I should probably get up a bed. Let's see about the side questing in this area. Escape from Endless Rider's Block. Oh boy, that hits too close to home. I came to Gungaga to find inspiration for my ex-children's book. Maybe in this very dim forest, I feel the walls closing in all around me. I'm trapped in a mental prison. A maze of my own making. I need a muse to deliver me from this creative doldrums. Should also probably stop by this general store right over yonder. such pulchritude. If I had the money, I'd pay your price in a heartbeat. But alas. I'll pay you if you rein it in. Don't think I caught your name. Oh. Oh, my sincerest apologies. I'm Neve, and I write children's books for a living. Which sounds fun, but it's not, since right now I'm flat broke. I spent my last remaining gill to come scout out this village. I was hoping to use something here in my next book, but... <sighs> the specter of failure stalks me, looming from behind every corner! Will my creative instincts ever return, or am I doomed to chase them like a rat in a life-size maze? Wait, what did you say? And that sounded a lot like... <gasps> I'm a rat trapped in a life-size maze! Sorry, but I just gotta ask. You're Meev Mabel, aren't you? Author of Life in the Endless Maze. <laughs> That's my daughter's favorite book in the whole world. Can I get an autograph? Wait, actually, can I shake your hand? Uh, huh? uh, of course! Anything for a fan. I mean, I always assumed I didn't have any. But it's an incredible honor to finally meet an aficionado of my work. <laughs> you said you were scouting this place for book ideas, yeah? <laughs> if it's alright with you, we'd love to help. 
Got the perfect guy to serve as inspiration, too. What? You are perfect! I am? Yes, I can see it now. A warrior beast with fur as fiery as his burning soul! <laughs> Curse this feeble frame! My mind races, yet my hands plod along as if trapped in treacle! Miss Mabel, are you all right? <sighs> Resolve, suffering, odyssey. Help me to express these themes by taking pictures which embody them. I beseech you. Resolve, suffering, and odyssey. Those are great themes. We're gonna need locations to do them justice, though. There's a riverbed by the edge of the forest that'll work. Come on, let's hit it up. I can't wait to see your photos. They're sure to help me write a story like no other. Well, that was a turn of events. I'm not sure what exactly was... Very strange, very strange indeed. Like a children's books author, Marlene, I get that, but the... Uh, I don't know. Alright. First up, we gotta capture Resolve. And in my humble opinion, there ain't no better backdrop than right here, where jungle meets desert. Look right at the camera, and think of when we made our heroic charge straight into this godforsaken tank. Alright, make sure to get my good side. Taking Red 13's picture. Snap a few shots of Red 13 to provide me with inspiration for her work. Pair your camera and aim at a spot where Red 13 should pose. To know by camera icon. Then when you assume the pose you want, take his picture. Does the match very well. That was a hundred percent. Okay. Guess each okay. shot. Make way for the bottle. Oh, good, good, evenly. Let's see. Next, we're off to. Uh, oh, I know. The Mako reactor. Come on. We gotta keep this thing rolling. Just like the book. Escape the maze and be free. If you say so, Barrett. Well, What's this one supposed to be? Can't say I've got fond memories of this dumb considering. But hey. That's why it's perfect for capturing the theme of suffering. All you gotta do is picture Scarlet's ugly mug and we're golden. Easy as pie, am I right? Okay, one pensive looking nanaki coming up.
Uh, that doesn't look too suffering, sir. Make sure to catch my good side, all right? There we go. Okay, the last one is Odyssey. Don't know about you. But that screams airstrip to me. Let us fly on the wings of dreams together and claim our freedom. You know, like the book. No, I would not know like the book because uh, I have not read it somehow. I don't know how I have allowed this gap in my literary knowledge to occur, but it has. This is the last one, so make sure you look extra spiffy red. The theme is Odyssey. Recall the way you felt about setting off a Cosmo Canyon. The nerves, the excitement, the joy, the hope. So, strike a pose like, uh... No worries, I got it. <laughs> Step aside. I'll show you how it's done. Hmm. Yeah, no. I didn't think so. I'm trying, sir. I'm trying to get a good angle. Make sure to catch my good side, all right? There we go. Perfect. Better hurry and get these back to Miss Mabel. Kate, where are you going? I should probably go to the item shop before I forget and then turn in these pictures. Sundries. We sell materia too. Oh, right, I need cushions. Almost forgot. Oh, I already bought cushions. Right. Can I interest you in some fresh? Uh, never mind. Right through the grapevine, the piso singing is different to me. Miss Mabel, 
Think these will spark your imagination? What is this feeling? It's as if my hand has become a conduit for the gods of prose. <laughs> there once was a crimson warrior who everyone loved. He was so strong, they called him the king of the forest. But he wanted to be even stronger, so he went on an adventure. That's actually not too bad of a start. While on his journey, he came across a group of three brave knights. The knights were very impressed, and they told him, You are the king of which the legends foretold. Please, lead our people to victory. Oh, wow. I like where this is going. He gazed off into the distance and with conviction declared, Though I began my journey as king of the forest, that is not where I shall end it. My future lies far beyond the woods. This is bound for the bestseller list. A surefire hit. Right, Cloud? You never know. Oh, man, you really just don't get it, do you? Listen, you gotta have faith. If you don't write something you think will sell, it won't. So believe. Try it, but quite true. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to read this to my Marlene. Don't want to rush you, but I hope you can finish it soon. Thank you, and I promise that the instant it's complete, I'll make sure to send you and your daughter a copy. Oh, right, and one for our bestial brainchild. <laughs> Crescent Moon Charm. Ship Barrett is deep in. Party increased level 9. New quests are also available here in the Gungaruga region. So back to the quest board we go. Well, I suppose that sounds like a decent enough book start. Woodland Vigil. Now, susne has got to work for us. Attention GYC members. As you may have heard, we received reports of especially dangerous fiends near the village. So I had to personally look into this, so I'll be headed up to the observation tower. Your leaders are in charge while I'm away. This must oh, be yeah, one of I'll be fine. Not on your own, you won't. It's hey there. Heading out? On patrol. Got a slightly troubling report, but not troubling enough to let us go with her. I'm Captain. It just makes sense for me to go. Yeah, but not by yourself. We're talking in circles. If I may, as you can tell by looking at him, Cloud here has a lot of experience taking care of trouble. So, why don't you send him on patrol instead? Don't worry, I'll go. Give you time to talk things over. What do you think? Okay then, if you've got time to spare. Recently, folks have spotted some foul-looking fiends outside the village. I want you to head to the observation tower. Take a look around. See if you notice anything suspicious. Just leave it to him. Well, away I go. Where we stop, nobody knows. Top of the observation tower. Okay. Oh, we survey the area on top of the observation tower first, then we go fiend hunting. Okay, I see, I see. Spot is just running away of tower. Oh, 
Oh, hi! Ow, 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 ow. They should be taking more damage than the rest. Find chains like these anywhere. This name must have been referring to something else. Back to the outlet. All right, this is going to be a thing, isn't it? And down and all around. Oh boy. I think I spotted something. Let's check it out. Maybe it's best I start from here. Jump here. Hmm. In and around the Gongaga region is such a pain. Oh, hello. See anything particularly out of the ordinary about these humans either.
I'm not amused. Cloud, look over there. I just saw something moving. Yes, but whether that something is the something we're looking for or just a regular something something remains to be seen. Bingo. Oh. Let's not lose sight of it. That looked like a big frog. A gigantic toad, maybe? Also, amphibians often found in jungles and woodlands. They capture prey with their long, flexible tongues and similarly they crush their new meal beneath their immense bodies. Laying enough damage on the tongue will pressure them. Cantering their tongue or trying them out will cause them to zipper a moment, leaving them open. Big dice. Hit that tongue. God reaching That's into level two. Huh? When did you get here? Been following you for a while, but I'm sure Cloud already knew that. Yeah, well. <laughs> View from the outlook was pretty nice, huh? I like to relax there. Plus, it's easy to spot people coming our way well in advance. Wait, are you? 
expecting someone? I've got a lot of questions I've been needing to ask you, you know. Not so. Fine. But I don't have all day. You get one question, and one question only. Well, the truth is... The truth is, that's none of your business. Boo! Boo! That much I know for a fact. Then again, he ran into you at a Turks facility, so you might still be working for some asshole in a suit. But it's a big company. Nothing weird about crossing paths with someone who's got ties to it, current or former. Which means there's no reason to hide them, unless you were part of some... You're more than welcome to think whatever theories you like. I'd appreciate it, though, if you didn't share them with the villagers. I enjoy a very unique position in Gungaga. The big city girl with a mysterious past. Unless you spoil the fun for me. Know that I'm no enemy of yours and I won't get in your way. So please. Just let me live my life. Anyway... This world of ours is about to change. That's not my gut talking. The writing's been on the wall for a while now. And there's nothing we can do to stop what's coming. I bet you could, if anyone. That's sweet. You know... I think I see it now. What he saw in you. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, what? Yeah? Yeah? And on that note, let's head back. I don't think either of them understood what Cisne was going on about, but, uh, oh well. Uh, I'm fine with ending the episode here. Then next episode we can go on to the... Well, I guess I have up Cosmo Canyon, then the bell, and then finally finish up in the Coral region. But until then, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and the bell, and if you subscribe, get off my lawn, because the casuals.